Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into another essential Raspberry Pi skill, connecting Pulti to your Raspberry Pi 5. Whether you're a beginner or need a quick refresher, this guide has got you covered. Let's get started. The first step is to download and install Pulti on your laptop. Pulti is a free terminal emulator that lets you connect to your Raspberry Pi through SSH. Simply search Pulti download in your favorite search engine and download the installer from the official website. Before we proceed, let's ensure SSH is enabled on your Raspberry Pi. SSH is disabled by default for security reasons. To enable it, open a terminal on your Raspberry Pi and enter the following command. sudo raspberry config, navigate to interfacing options, then SSH and select enable. This will allow SSH connections to your Raspberry Pi. Next, find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi Open a terminal on your Raspberry Pi and enter hostname-i. Note down the IP address as you'll use this to connect through Putty. Now let's connect to your Raspberry Pi using Putty. Open Putty on your laptop and enter the Raspberry Pi's IP address in the hostname field. Set the port to 22 for SSH connections and click open. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password. Provide your Raspberry Pi's username and password. If everything is correct, a terminal window connected to your Raspberry Pi should appear. If you encounter connection issues, double check the IP address, ensure SSH is enabled and verify that your laptop and Raspberry Pi are on the same network. For additional troubleshooting, check out Putty's documentation. And that's pretty much it. You've successfully connected Putty to your Raspberry Pi 5. Now you can remotely access your Raspberry Pi terminal, making coding and file management easier. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Raspberry Pi tutorials.